Hi there everybody, this is KittySwag44 and welcome to more videos, yay, I have finally got back, I am back from the dead, from YouTube at least, or at least making YouTube videos, I've been gone for a while, I haven't made gameplays in like a million years because like, like I was talking about in my other videos, how my LCD screen on my other camera was like glitching and now it's completely glitch and I can't film it anymore So I had to deal with that for a month and I went to Alaska and all this stuff and now I'm at school and I've been busy and I just didn't feel like making gameplays as well But now I decided let's just use a screen record. We'll do this quick time Program I have on this computer, but I'm not really gonna do a gameplay right now I am actually gonna be like kind of making a tutorial not really a tutorial. There's already enough of these on YouTube so this is just going to be kind of like a let's make. It, I've never seen any videos like this on YouTube and it feels like there should be. Just like someone just making a maze game from scratch. And yes, making a maze game up on the PowerPoint website. First of all, I want to show you some little, like I want to show you an example. All these right here are all made by myself. Um, maze game, Maze Game 2, Rap Boy Genius Maze. Five Nights at Freddy's Maze, the Shrek game, which is actually not a maze, something else, and Scary Maze Game 11 Challenge. Um, I'll just show my best one, which is the Five Nights at Freddy's Maze. This one was like my best work right here. Yeah, there we go. Now, this QuickTime thing, it lags a lot. That's why I don't like using screen recorders. That's why I never usually did, but whatever. Just whatever. Here's the video. I mean, not the, here's the little game. I'll show you what we will make. Not the exact thing, but you know. The freaking Five Nights at Freddy's maze game. Click the stupid, I mean, play the stupid game. Made by Foo, which is my nickname. Um, you're a retarded person who wants to work at Freddy Fat Butts Pizza, and for some freaking reason, you want to work there for five days. Then fine, do it. Start, god dang it. And then, Go first level, which is night one, and I kind of made this like the scary maze game. If you touch the wall, <clears throat> jump scare. So yeah, I'm just gonna cheat through the first level. Now the second level, and I made jump scares for like each of them. Like see, jump scare is different. And it's different on all of them. Like night one is Freddy, night two is Bonnie, night three is another Bonnie, night four is Foxy, and night five is Chica and a retarded person. You'll see that later probably. Second level. Carefully do it. You gotta have a steady hand. And it takes you to the next level. And oh, geez, it's lagging. Oh, that's bad. And we, I will also show you how to put obstacles in this crap. There we go. You gotta dodge them because if you hit them, you die. And you click the key. And you go, and you go to the keyhole, and it opens that door. If you touch the door, you die, so you have to open it to progress to the next level. Night. Oh, oh, jeez, my mouse didn't move for a second. I thought I was gonna like die. Be careful here. My mouse isn't lagging, which is good, because if it was, this would be a lot harder. But those blades, though, that would be hard. Quick time lags like a butt cheek. Ah, oh, I died. Uh, well, I'll just I'll have to skip it. It's like I show you the last level because it's kind of unique. So here's the last level. Now I put a question here: When did the bite happen? Because you know, bite of eight nineteen eighty seven opens that door. You get through that, you dodge that Burger King guy, and you have to go through these very narrow hallway and stuff and then you reach to the finish yes you did it you completed all mother effing night at freddy fat butts pizza you winner you be a good sport play again and there you go we will be making a game like that from scratch i will probably have to put this in different parts because it takes some time to do this but here we go we are going to start from scratch and since i'm using a macintosh computer will be on Mac, you know, how to make it on a Macintosh computer, because I never really see anyone ever use PowerPoint on this. So yeah, toolbox, I always just click this, and then it gives you all this crap to work on. 
So we're going to put new slides down. I'll just do Command C and then Command V, and which is like a copy and paste thing. We'll just go up to 10 slides so far. I may not make this like a scary maze game. I don't know. I guess I might as well, but I mean, maybe like on the first three levels. I think we're going to have three or four levels. I think I'm going to go with four, maybe five. Because, like, I've been really wanting to make this video because people would like make maze games, but they would only have like one level or something like that, and then they're like, okay, there you go. But I mean, this isn't like a tutorial, this is actually just a let's make. So if you're looking for like how to make one, this may not be the video for you. Otherwise, if you're tr want, trying to learn on it from like how to do it on a Macintosh computer, so. Okay, okay. I never really planned this out on how this maze is gonna look, so, hmm. Let's just do this thing. We'll just do that. Just have a little background and make it look more pretty, because you don't. Maybe we can go to textures. Ooh. Ooh. I don't want anything too dark spots. I kind of like this. No, it. Well, hmm. No, I think this looks the best. So we'll just do that. Wait, hand. No line. No shadow. Yeah. Everyone uses, like, Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 or something like that on, like, you know, those PCs. I mean, I use that at my school in my game design class and also, um, hey, this is new. I've never seen this before. Click, oh, I don't know. I never clicked that before. I don't know, I don't usually use this thing a lot for like a whole ton of like all this other stuff. I just do like the hyperlink. So the hyperlinks are very important, so we'll do that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The hyperlinks and stuff are very important on this. So let's just call it Foo's Maze. Because, you know, Foo's my nickname. It's a long story why I call it, so. Hmm, 60? Kind of feeling like a 72. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 72. <laughs> Let's have it blue. This looks very similar to the, um, this one maze game I made. Scary Maze Game 11. Um. Should we have the word, like, in the middle? Yeah, let's just do that. Whatever. What am I thinking? Okay, I'm a little bit of a noob at this, so I think there's, like, some easier way to get it into the middle, but I don't know. That's good enough. Now, when you're doing a slideshow, it's good to make it look more nice and neat by, like, having animations in it. So, like, maybe, like, if I get into, like, the game, it can have, like, this text just, like, fly in or something like that. So we're gonna just going to go to the... Animations, custom animations. Hmm, maybe we can do a fade. Wait, hang on, there's something I want to use. Uh, faded zoom looks cool. Faded swirl. Uh, I like that one better. It's more quickish. Quickish. Um, we'll just do all this. Actually, we don't really need that. Okay, we're not gonna have any sound with it. So when I go to slideshow, it's gonna do that. All right. So there we go. Foo's maze. I'll have a little description. Beat all four freaking freaking levels. Okay, that thing's gonna distract me, so. The red thing. Seven levels without touching the walls. Alrighty. Put an exclamation point at it, because, you know, make it look exciting, because it always needs to be like that. 24. Sure. But I don't know. I may not do really any gameplays if I'm going to do screen recorders because I actually tried that. 
very laggy and I can't take it and I don't want to do that really. I just, I've been really wanting to make this video. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Come on, you could so fit it right there. There, you freaking idiot. Ugh. And it doesn't look centered right, of course, of all things. Okay. No, I guess that's good. Yeah, we'll make this a scary maze game. Maybe at level 4, that we get jump scares somewhere. Okay. Well, this should also have an animation by going into, so... We'll actually just make this a regular fade. Now, we'll do this after previous, because the one that with Foo's maze, that was with previous, this after previous. Make sense? If it doesn't, you're a retard. Foo's maze, beat all four freaking levels without touching the walls. And then we'll have a little button that pops up, it says play! have it right here. Actually, hang on. Make it perfect square. I'm gonna do this. Boop! Like that. I think it's already centered in the middle. Yeah, I guess it is. Um. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll make it that color. I don't know. Everything's gonna be like blue about it, so. Oh, we'll just do three. Play! Yay! So it'll be like that. Okay, so I've been recording apparently for 12 minutes or at least around there. I guess this will call for part one. I'll work on part two later. So I guess you guys hopefully enjoy this. I mean, all we did was just get like the home screen, but I mean, I showed you. I don't know. I, it was kind of a gameplay too, just showing you my little maze game I made of what we're gonna be doing. So this is just like it. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will be making more videos, of course. Even with the screen recorded, it's so laggy, but and I'm still gonna do it. So yeah, bye guys.